All right, let's see if I can suffer through this video. Um, I should also note before I even start that I put a jump ring on my lip, so it's not a real piercing. Uh, I was actually watching one of my like very first videos that I ever talk about gender and like I like my gender, and I had my fake nose piercing and like way before I got myself them, and I also had like a fake ear thing, and I was like, oh, I you do that more often. I have like a just in the jump rings and I bought them for that purpose. Anyway, um, alrighty. God. Uh, uh, um, I actually had wanted to, yesterday I, I thought about making this, um, and I also binge watched my own videos. I had to like sit through and cringe and watch like the very first videos that I have on, like the very earlier, the, uh, the, the earlier video that I have on my channel, um, and, uh, just, I sound different, and I just, I'm just very different, and it was crazy for me to see that, honestly, um, uh, but I also had, I, <laughs> I'd watched, oh god, I watched a video, the video, where I finally talked about having depression in my channel and I watched it and I cried because <laughs> every time I watch myself on video and I cry in it I'm like and then I start crying usually it depends like if I still feel that pain and so I was watching that video my like depression anxiety hope dysphoria something like dysphoria and hope or something like that and um, I, didn't, I didn't fully go into detail about what depression means for me or what anxiety means for me, um, which I understand because it's, it's kind of heavy and I usually stray away from talking about my mental illness with anyone and like talking about really what that means for me and it's something that I struggle with. Um, but I'm standing for this video so it's a little weird. My room is just not... it's a mess. I, I'm, I skipped class today because I uh, was not having it. Um, and I have been so out of it, and so for me to make a video like this, it's crazy. Because had you asked me months ago, um, I wouldn't make a video when I'm um, going through an episode. Uh, but I, I don't know, I found it interesting going back and watching, old, like, watching that video because I felt real to me and if like also I could relate uh, so I stayed up as late as I could yesterday trying to avoid going to sleep because I really didn't want to go to class today um, but I watched that video and something that I had noticed actually something that I noticed about and there's two things that I'm going to address in this video count the many times I said video um, I a lot of my videos when I go back and I open up, I'm I always always like without fail would say that I I'm not doing this for me and I'm hoping to be there for other people and like hoping um like hoping somebody else will see this and like, you know, feel like they're not alone and whatnot and I think I mean I I mean it, but also, it's not, it wasn't my goal, and, um, it's crazy to watch myself utter those words and think, oh, this thing, and, and think, like, it's not, it's not what I want. I, I wanted to talk about these things, I wanted to, to let them all out, uh, because I tend to keep all these things in, and then I, you know, I end up ends up boiling inside and it's just not a good time for me and so I didn't allow myself to have you know, to, to, to say this is something I'm doing for me and it's weird looking back and like I get why because I just don't want to seem like an attention seeker and I'm constantly apologizing for feeling the way that I do and you know I shouldn't I mean but I do but I shouldn't but I I do. Um, so this video is for me. But I did want to talk 
more about my anxiety. Uh, so, um, I'm like, I'm, a, I'm actually less anxious than I thought I would be making this. I thought I would like freak out and like, uh, uh, sometimes, a lot of times when I make videos about my personal life, I, um, I tend to get really anxious before I make a video, but I do it anyway and I push myself to do it. And it shows a lot for me, uh, cause I was such, like when I first, first started, I would never have thought to open up the way that I did. And yeah, so it makes me anxious. Um, I don't even know where to start when it comes with my anxiety. Uh, so, uh, my depression video, I talked about sort of like when it was triggered, um, but there's a lot much more to the story than I let out. Um, but I shared what I could in both to make sure that the video wasn't super long and like because it was a big deal for me to share. So I'm, I'm just kind of uh, just, just, I'm just gonna talk because I'm like nothing is coming out. Um, so my anxiety really started uh, coming out when I was a kid around the time when my depression was triggered. Um, and it would often be when my parents would yell at me uh, when I would get in trouble for something or when they just like yell at me and I felt like they were angry at me or something. Um, I couldn't breathe and my vision started getting black and I didn't know what that meant and it was scary for me. I was like a kid. I was like a 10, year, 10 11 year old kid and I didn't know what this meant and so I googled it um, <laughs> and it turns out that I was having panic attacks and I didn't know that and I pointed that out to my mom and she didn't believe me which makes sense because of the, the way that mental illness is treated both in my family and in my culture and like all of that um, so she didn't believe me and I didn't look I didn't think about it uh, and I wouldn't have as many panic attacks, like my anxiety wasn't super bad, it was like really, really my depression that had like taken over my life after that when I was in middle school, but more so like in high school. And I had, I think I started having a little more, like I started, my panic attacks became more frequent when I uh, was in high school. Um, and I would get anxious over things and I didn't know why and like my social anxiety was like pretty bad. I didn't make any friends for a while in the beginning of high school because uh, I didn't, all of my friends from junior high school went to a different school and it was scary for me to be in somewhere new by myself and I confessed that to people and of course I was told like, you know, you'll get there, you'll make friends, you just gotta talk to people but it was just never that easy for me to just go up to someone and talk to them. Uh, eventually I made friends. Um, yeah. And I didn't, some of the friends that I made actually had suffered with like pretty bad anxiety uh, but I never saw myself in that like I didn't think about it too hard I was like you know what I'm like I'm more depressed than I am like because to me anxiety felt like high high energy like always stressed about something and um, I was never like that I never had high energy since I was a kid and I'm still very low energy but I didn't I didn't think about it and um, I, after, after my suicide attempt, when I started going to therapy, I did mention the anxiety, but I didn't, he didn't focus on it, my therapist at the time didn't focus on it, and I didn't focus on it because it was the depression that was more severe, and so that wasn't, yeah, on the priority list. And, uh... I'm like, it's hard for me to think about the story because I don't even know when it started happening when, when like, it got worse. Uh, but eventually, panic attacks became more frequent. Um, I've had pretty severe ones. Uh, there was one that, like, last year, last December, that it ended me in the hospital. Um, and it was... 
it happened when I was at my girlfriend's house and we had fought, we had, uh, we had fought and it got bad and it got really bad and I lost sensation in my body and uh, god it's so weird to talk about it and like the typical symptoms that you read online, my vision goes black, I can't breathe, it feels like I'm dying. Uh, Sometimes I feel like my body feels weird but that's when I know that it gets really bad. Uh, so that was the first time that it really like got to the point where it did and I didn't know what it was and I was so scared. Um, and being with someone, ugh, like I, you know, I really did love her. I still, unfortunately, do. Um, but, uh, you know, our fights and when things weren't going well would really trigger something. Uh, and so, obviously, when she broke up with me, things hadn't gotten better. Uh, things just kind of got worse. Um, I didn't ever want to be on anxiety pills. Because I didn't think it would be that bad. I was like, you know, uh, this is... This is really hard for me to make right now. This is something that I was just starting to deal with. Uh, I did... I used grounding techniques and that worked for a while. I would ground myself and I would do deep breathing and I would calm myself down, but I uh, eventually got to the point where I couldn't and I still can't. So that sucks. Um, and sometimes I just thought my anxiety was just panic attacks and just at that. But uh, it's more than that. Um, it's actually really common now. And so a lot of the times, and I don't, not all the times, but a lot of the times I, when I'm going through a depressive episode, I would also, my anxiety would like spike. Um, but sometimes I've had moments, and it's like the first time that this happened, it was very confusing, where I have just been anxious and wasn't depressed. And it was weird for me because I was like, what is happening? Uh, basic, ugh, like, if I were to describe the way that it feels, it's, it really is your body in fight or flight, right? Because it's like the stress response. Um, but it feels, like, it does feel like you're in constant danger all the time despite the fact that you know you're not, like, just feels like you're in danger all the time. And, oh, things like, uh, appetite, really, whew, uh, like, bowel movements, um, sleep. So, like, I get, when I'm, when I'm more anxious and I am depressed, I tend to stay up at night. I would, like, wake up, like, two in the morning, um, and struggle to go back to sleep. So I have more insomnia. But when I'm depressed, I tend to sleep more. So sometimes it's like back and forth between those. Sleep, uh, my breathing is off. Uh, I talked about having a really bad anxiety attack last Friday when I flunked my test. And basically what it looked like was I couldn't calm myself down going in there. And I knew for damn well fact that I was not going to stay there. I was not prepared for it mentally. And I hadn't studied for it because I was... Not, not there. And I was taking my test, and I started writing, and at some point I lost the feeling of my body. And I couldn't write. And I couldn't move. I could not move my hand. Uh, and I felt you know, like the pins and needles when you're setting up like your foot too long or something. Like that, but like all over. And especially in my hands. And so I couldn't write, and I couldn't see the test. And like the words had just blurred into lines, like black lines on paper, and I couldn't do it and I couldn't breathe and it was so scary but I knew what was happening um and I'd been through this before and I know like how bad my anxiety can get and I left and then I had a panic attack and panic attacks when I separate those two panic attacks are usually for me always always when I like lose my breath control and I can't breathe and then my vision goes like like black that is a panic attack when I am literally panicking and I can't control myself. Anxiety attacks. Well, I guess what was uh, happening during the test was a panic attack. I just, you know, I guess I'm not used to not being, like, I'm used to the whole, like, breath 
loss of breath, um, as that's when I, that's sort of what made me realize that I had, uh, issues with that. And, yeah. So I was prescribed medication, I haven't tried it yet. Uh, like, trying to hold that for when I know it's getting bad. Which is difficult, because I don't really know what I'm doing right now. This is, this is, I don't even know how long I've been recording this video. This is really hard for me to make. Uh, God. I guess I know it's important. Part of me, I don't know, I guess wants to go back and edit this and just kind of see what I look like, because I don't know what I look like when I'm anxious. Uh, but, um, I don't know, it's just, it's crazy, it's crazy for me to think about and talk about. Um, yeah, and it, I'm trying not to think about the fact that I'm sharing this <laughs> on the internet, and that I'm sharing this so publicly, uh, because that'll, I'm already like starting to tear up. Uh, that'll just freak me the hell out. Cause I, it's not what I'm used to. And I'm gonna end it here, just for the sake of my own sanity. And I'm gonna go back to watching horror movies cause it's Halloween. <laughs> it's Halloween and I'm home with nothing to do except watch horror movies. So that's kind of where I am right now. Uh, so if you've watched up to here, thank you so, so much. Oh God, I actually, I didn't realize how much I said that. Like, I do mean it. Thank you so, so much. But like, I didn't realize that I have said that in every video. It's not, uh, so let's just, ah, thank you so, so much. Um, subscribe, like, or comment, and you can give an individual their wings. And if you subscribe, you can join my winged family. And who doesn't want to learn to fly? And until next video, bye.